water levels are on the rise. The things we're doing now are going to affect the future for our children. There may not be a planet left for them to live on. Let's see how, how we can live can affect what's going to happen. Okay, so we're at Breckland Compassionate Living Fair. I've just bumped into Haley again, who I met at the Vegan Meetup Group, and she's from Chain, which is an organisation all about uh, climate change. And she's an amazing woman. I've got all the knowledge, which I haven't got. And uh, we're going to learn all about um, the choices we make and how uh, it's all going terribly wrong at the moment. So what, so what exactly is Chain? So Chain is an organisation um, which is just trying to raise awareness around climate change. Uh, climate change. Yeah. Um, it was started by myself and Joe. We're both doctors and um, we found out about climate change a couple of years ago and we kind of thought, shit, how could I have not known about that? Um, and we figure that a lot of people don't know so people can't care about it if they don't know so we're yeah. trying to get people to kind of pay more attention be more aware and really think about what they can do to make a difference lovely and what does change stand for change stands for climate hope action in norfolk so we're norfolk wide and we're, we're doing events like this to try and raise awareness we do films and talks and and yeah. various stuff we go into schools and work with kids yeah and you do a brilliant job okay so uh we're gonna have a little kind of game now and see uh yeah, lovely. So this is a game that we use with kids at the festivals um, and science fairs in, in Norwich and, and sometimes with the kids in schools. So I'm going to get this guy, I can't remember your name. It's Paul. Paul. Um, <laughs> to answer the questions and, and see what impact his lifestyle is having um, on climate change and the future in terms of sea level rise. Let's do it. I'm quite hopeful. I'm quietly confident. Okay, okay so what's up first? So he's going to do well on this question because this is about food that we eat. Um, so the question is, if you had a choice, would you eat red meat every day, a mixture of red meat and white meat, white meat every day, vegetarian diet with no meat or fish, or a vegan diet with no animal products at all? Vegan! Yay! <laughs> so you don't have to put any of the pebbles into the boat, so that's fantastic. Yay! Okay, next, next choice. Would you try and buy or grow organic food when possible, or not worry about how the food that you eat is grown? Organic. Okay, so one pebble, which is less than you would have had if it was not organic. So what about holidays and travel? If you were, say, for example, going to visit some relatives up in Edinburgh, would you catch a train or would you fly? Train. So, again, only one? Yay. If you had a choice, would you go shopping regularly, buy all the latest styles each season... Or would you only buy clothes when you really need them, wear vintage, pre-loved clothes, swap clothes with your friends? As I need them. As you need them. Okay. He's doing really well. So, again, that's only one marble. Get in there. Yes. <laughs> what about technology? So, would you like to have the latest computer, latest phone, all that kind of stuff? Or would you only buy new stuff when you really needed it and get second-hand, stuff like that? As and when, as and when. As and when. Okay. So, again, only one. Do you recycle most of your waste or do you not recycle? Recycle most of it. Brilliant. So that's two. We have to make sure the boat doesn't tip up. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about buying your fruits and vegetables? Would you tend to buy locally grown or not worry about where it's come from? I like to buy locally, but I still buy kind of tropical fruits and things. Okay, so, so we'll put you somewhere in the middle, so it's about three. Okay. Yeah. And travelling around Norwich, um, do you have a car to get around Norwich or do you try and cycle and walk and use public transport? Mostly cycle and some walking. Brilliant, so none. So he's done fantastically well. There's only a few marbles in, so we haven't pushed the sea level up very much at all. But let's see what would happen if he answered those questions differently. So if, for example, you drive a car around Norwich, you get to put 56 marbles in. 56? Yeah. No. It makes a massive difference, wow. doesn't it? So it's going to take a while to count out. We're going to end up using most of our marbles. It's incredible how much difference a car makes. I'm really surprised at that. Yeah. I mean, I knew it would be something, but wow. Yeah. Okay. We're nearly there. I'm going to count very quickly. Okay, what about locally grown veg? So if you don't worry about that... Then you go up to 15, because a lot of our food 
is grown overseas and sometimes even if it's grown locally it's flown to other parts of the world just to be polished before it comes back to the supermarket is that a fact? it's unbelievable I never knew that yeah okay in terms of recycling recycling is really really important but more important is reducing the amount that you buy um, so trying not to you know to reuse um, and, and not to have so much in the first place oh we've sunk the boat don't you sunk my battleship yes <laughs> um, we haven't even we haven't even got as far as meat if you if you eat meat every day then we'd put 39 in so that's kind of the rest of the bag yeah. <laughs> um, so what happens here is the kids can then see that the sea level then comes up to the bottom of the town um, and basically what that means if you take a look at the map of Norfolk if we continue the way we are we're looking at about a two or three meter rise by the end of the century wow. um, which is in the lifespan of, of a lot of young kids that we see around now and you can wow. look at how much of Norfolk um, is going to be underwater at that point yeah. so if you have kids if you care about kids yeah. change your lifestyle choices yeah. but more important than any of that is raise your voice speak to your MPs sign petitions online because our governments are the most important thing in actually making these changes so unless the politicians know that we care about this they're not going to make the changes so we need to rattle their cages about it yeah thank you thank you very much Haley. and if people want to find out more can they find a chain online yep um so this is um one of our leaflets um you can see leonardo dicaprio He's, a lot of people know about him um, he's very passionate about climate change. He made a speech about it at the Oscars. He's just done a film called After the Flood, which you can download online. Um, and our website here at the bottom, climatechain.org, on there you can find links to various other um, climate change relevant websites. The, one of the most interesting is you look at the NASA website. So they, they monitor the vital signs of the planet in terms of ice loss, CO2 levels, temperatures and, and what have you. So yeah. there's a lot of information online. Lovely. Hayley, thank you so much for your time. That's all right. Bless you. Thank you very much. If you've enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe. Go vegan for victory.